Hey, this is Bash Crest. We got a bass. I catch a 41.8 rockfish. We catch a lot of fish. Mom got a smallmouth bass that was the size. It was big. And plus, that's my sister. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. What's up guys, Merry Christmas, and today we're gonna to talk about probably one of my all-time most requested topics, big swim baits. Now you guys know, if you watch my channel for any length of time, I like big swim baits. I throw them a lot. I've got a big collection of big swim baits. All kinds, all shapes, all sizes, and I really don't talk about it a lot. This is not something I wanna see a lot of guys doing, but anyway, Today, I'm gonna to break down a pattern for you that's been working for the last few years in the winter time. It's been producing giant, giant bass, and that's single swim baits. Now, in the winter time along the Tennessee River chain of lakes, we still get tons and tons of fishing pressure, and one of the most popular things that you see plunking the water out there year after year is the rig, and nothing against the rig. The rig catches giant fish. I still catch big fish on the rig, but one of the patterns that's been going the last few years is a single swim bait. And it's just because it's a little bit different. And interestingly enough, you know, when you talk about, a lot of guys I hear them talking about wintertime fishing. When they talk about swim bait fishing, they're talking about throwing something like this or something like that, you know, like a 2.8 Kitek or something. But something that's been going on, I think it has a lot to do with the size shad that the fish are keying in on in the wintertime, the last few years, is a five to six inch single swim bait. So, you know, guys have been throwing some popular ones that you've probably heard of. A Zoom Swimmer, a uh, Boom Shad, a Driftwood Custom, a Producer, a Scottsboro. You know, these are brands that everyone's out there chunking and winding every day. And a lot of times, you know, they, they throw that thing on a uh, single swim bait hook, like a jig hook, or they throw it on an owner beast hook and they start plunking it. Well, that's nothing wrong with that, guys. You'll catch giant fish doing that. But today, I've got a couple sneaky techniques that you can do with that single swim bait, as well as a bait that I think is really going to produce a lot of big fish for you. And that bait, ba bum ba bum this is the 715 swim bait. Now, some of you guys might recognize this. You know, back in the day, that Bass Pro Shops SPS swim bait, or XP, I think XSS, whatever, however they say that. That swim bait was money for a lot of big Bassmaster events. I might roll some little B-roll right now. Our first look at a swim okay. bait today. All of us that are behind Ish, we all need 30 pound bags right now, so. This, to me, this is the easiest way to do it. A lot of money was won on that bait. They quit making it. Well. Another couple, you know, companies started making this thing. I think uh, the Babe was one that was similar to it. Well, 715 is the one that I, I've gotten. Now, Morgan over at Tackle Freak sent me this bait. I had never even heard of it up until a few months ago. He said, you got to try this out. This thing is dynamite. So I pick it up. Right at the boat, I watched the bait. He sent it to me in a few different options. One, and probably my favorite option, is this line through version. So you can see it's a roughly a half ounce right here, line through, and that's an owner stinger hook right there. It's the 2X stinger hook. My favorite swim bait hook by far. I usually use a much smaller hook, by the way. This is, I believe, a one aught. I'm putting in here for demonstration purposes, but typically on this bait, I would use a number two, something small. So it's still a 2X hook. I can still throw it on 20 pound test, really rip into those fish, not worry about losing them. Anyway, Things that I like about this swim bait versus kind of your standard semi hollow body swim bait that everybody's throwing. One, it is a solid design. So you've got a solid swim bait throughout. Um, not as much tearing, not as much going through baits. Um, stays together a lot better like that. Number two, big eye. Look at the size of the eye on that thing. Now when you're talking about realism, you're talking about a you know, swim bait that you're slow rolling through the middle of the water column or bouncing along the bottom. A lot of times that fish is gonna get up and it's gonna track that bait or it's gonna get right down to it and look at it on the bottom and track that bait. So what happens is, is a lot of times it's not a reaction strike. That fish has time to look at the bait and I think a big eye adds a lot of realism to the bait. Another thing that I really like about this is the ribbed design. Um, and it's not ribbed like a Kitek bait. This is, I don't know if you can see that really well, but that's ribbed kind of like a, a big nickel spoon. You know, if you get that shattered glass spoon, it's ribbed like that. And what that does is it breaks up the pattern of that bait in the water as far as the flash, the side of it. It kind of dulls it out, makes it look a little different. I think that makes a big difference as far as this bait goes. And the last thing is the action. And to me, this is kind of the most important thing overall is that action of that bait. 
when you're talking about these semi hollow body type swim baits you're talking about a lot of action in that bait you know a lot of times about halfway down that bait from there on begins to kick you get more of a violent head wobble in a lot of those those type baits like the zoom swimmer you know the boom shad blah 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 anyway this one right here has a great head shimmy back and forth back and forth but really it's the last third of that tail that does all the action it reminds me almost of uh, an old sassy shad something like that very muted action as far as the middle third of the bait the first third and the last third is really what has all the action and i absolutely love it i think it's going to catch a lot of big fish we're just now getting into this time when the fish are starting to key in on those single swim baits starting to key in on traps or starting to key in on the, you know the chatter bait eating a lot of those winter time techniques that we're used to this bait's going to be dynamite now what i just showed you that's the line through version that is the trout color that's probably my favorite color and that's probably my favorite version however when you're talking about fish and cover when you're talking about fish in winter time what happens is a lot of times as you're moving into the winter those fish will get on grass um, they'll get on shallow cover and when you're starting to move out of the fall boom this right here this is an owner beast hook that's a six aught owner beast hook and i think that that comes with a quarter ounce weight on there i believe with the hook itself it's a little heavier than that and this bait does sink so it gives you a little bit of a little bit of sinking as well but that combination right there is absolute money you can see the chew marks on the side of that thing that combination is money. I really like this color as well. I think it's called bait fish, might be called shad. I'll link it down below. But basically it's a smoke color, it's got some glitter in it. Um, something like that I feel like really is a great wintertime color. Smoke is always a go-to for me as far as wintertime colors. And the weedless version like this, it comes in a two pack. Now this is what a lot of guys throw. They throw that beast hook, and I got nothing wrong with that, especially if I'm fishing cover. If I'm fishing grass, if I'm fishing, you know, along a bluff wall and stuff like that. But what really shines and what I think a lot of guys kind of caught on to last year was the Driftwood Custom head right here. So you can see similar design to an owner beast hook, right? We got the screw lock right here. We got a large wide gap hook, but y'all notice, look at that, weight forward. So this weight forward, it's kind of got a diamond shape to it, so it sleds really well across the bottom. That bait wants to sit up on the bottom. You can almost walk it through all kinds of things. This one fishes great around grass as well, but this is a half ounce, and to me that's key. I can get that half ounce bait, I'm still weedless. You can actually, I think he makes it in a five eighths and a three quarter now, but in the winter time, a lot of times those fish will push to creek mouse, they'll push to ditch mouse, they'll push to main lake ledges again. And what happens is they're in a deeper part of the water column. You know, they're 15, 18, 25 feet sometimes. And when you're fishing with something like this, it's really hard to get down there. You can do a, you know, a typical half ounce to three quarter ounce jig hook, but then you're exposed and you're liable to get hung up and lose these baits. So, this, this is the Super 8 by Driftwood Customs. I recommend you go pick up a few of those. It has a really big screw lock on the front, and honestly, I'm not as keen on that. It keeps the bait really well, but it's also pretty difficult to get it to screw on there straight. So I actually take that thing off and I replace it with a larger um, CPS, one of the, the gri grip pin hooks that uh, owner designs there. So that's a, a good tip for you as well. But what I would recommend, go to Tackle Freaks. Guys, I'm gonna link this down below pick you up some of these 715 swim baits you won't be disappointed they're an awesome bait really quality bait and pick you up some beast hooks six aught like i said that super eight and a half ounce and then you know get you some of those owner stinger hooks there and by the way any swim bait guys you won't see a different hook on 99 percent of my swim baits other than maybe a depths you know i get my depths out here you get a zo wire on those get the quads on those now i'm going to be doing some more swim bait videos coming up guys we'll talk about some different swim baits that you can use in you know different parts of the year and stuff but it's really hard in the winter time especially to beat a bigger than average soft body swim bait so quick update on tristan here a lot of you guys follow my facebook and instagram i've had a few posts about this but basically what happened is on tuesday kind of we were expecting this but on tuesday he was finally diagnosed with failure to thrive because he's not putting on the weight that he needs to put on by Thursday, we had another appointment. The gastroenterologist was like, hey, we need to put a feeding tube. We need to go ahead and start getting him back up to weight so that, you know, we got flu season coming around. Um, also, he's so low on the chart right now that he is, it's going to start affecting his growth. So it was something, they were so concerned about it that we actually ended up in the hospital on Friday. They uh, put him under, put a feeding tube in, and he's been 
with that ever since. So <clears throat> Friday, it's been three or four days now and uh, he's doing really well with it and he's already starting to gain weight so he lost about a pound in the hospital he's already gained that back plus a half a pound which is awesome because it was taking us forever forever he, i think in four months we were trying our best to get him to gain weight and he only ended up getting maybe a pound or so so we're making strides in the right direction doctors still are not exactly sure what's going on with him um, why his body is not processing nutrients properly um, why he's not hungry a lot of the time and why he eats so slow a lot of that is you know he takes really tiny bites takes him a long time to eat anything he's extremely active and so he's just not getting the caloric intake in a day and when he does get it it's like his body doesn't know what to do with it it's not processing it correctly so basically what we're doing is we're able to, to artificially feed him throughout the night and then he's still eating by mouth just the way he normally does throughout the day and so far so good that keeps that seems to be working so far so i'll keep updating you guys along the way thank you so much for all the again for all the thoughts prayers and well wishes and uh, hopefully we'll be cranking out some more videos for you real soon but as always hope you love the video if you do like it subscribe it and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. We'll probably be talking about some, some cranking, some, some small mouth, because that's been going lately, son. <laughs>